Hello, this is Miss April and this video is an intro tutorial to adhesive vinyl. I'll be showing you how you can use adhesive vinyl to decorate a vase like this. So in previous videos, we have already talked about heat transfer vinyl, which is vinyl that you can press onto fabric. This is what HTV looks like. This vinyl has a plastic film over it. You can watch the stocking and tic-tac-toe bag videos to learn more. There are many different kinds of adhesive vinyl. This is vinyl that you don't need to apply heat for it to adhere to a surface. One of the most well-known brands is Oracle, and it comes in a variety of colors. There are also different grades of vinyl that are used for specific projects. Adhesive vinyl can be added to different types of surfaces, and people use this kind of vinyl to decorate mugs or cups and create decals for car windows. In order to apply the vinyl onto a surface, you need transfer paper. There are numbers on the back of the vinyl sheets or rolls that tell you what type of vinyl it is. These are the most common. Oracle 631 has a matte finish. It is removable for up to two years. And it is used for walls and other indoor items that will not be washed, like decor. 641 has a matte finish. It is a water-based permanent adhesive that lasts about three to five years. This one is used for outdoor items and hand-washed items such as mugs, car windows, and cups. 651 is the one that it's mostly used. It has a glossy finish. It is permanent solvent based and has a five to eight year rating. It is used for indoor and outdoor items and hand-washed items such as mugs and cups. Most people use Oracle 651 because it lasts longer. So for this project, choose which one you want to use. Since it is an indoor project that I don't plan to wash, I'm going to use 631. It can easily be removed if I want to decorate the vase differently. For the project, you'll also need a glass jar, real or fake flowers, acrylic paint, cardstock paper, transfer paper, hot glue, and scissors. The only part we will be making with vinyl is the bunny's face, like the eyes, nose, and mouth. You can search for a bunny face online, purchase an SVG file on the design store, or make one yourself using the drawing tools in Silhouette Studio. For example, I made the eyes with circles, the nose with a triangle, a mouth with the pencil, and whiskers with lines. I also drew my own designs and created a PNG on my iPad and uploaded the file to Silhouette Studio. Then I traced the faces and created even more little bunny faces. I ended up picking this one, which has two colors, black and pink. Which means I got black and pink 631 vinyl sheets. Before we send our vinyl to cut, Measure the size of your jar. Measure where you want the face to go and how big you want it to be, and change your design size on Silhouette Studio to reflect that size. For example, my design was about four inches wide and three inches high. So I drew a rectangle with those dimensions on the back of my black vinyl and cut it out. I did the same with the pink vinyl and then again with the transfer paper. Place the vinyl you cut out for the eyes onto the cutting mat first. In this case, I used black for the eyes, so we will send that to cut first. The vinyl should be facing you and the back side should be facing the cutting mat. In the send panel, use the fill option and unclick everything that isn't the color of the vinyl that is currently on your mat. In this case, I only wanted everything that was in black to be cut out. Since I'm using Oracle 631, which is a matte vinyl, I chose vinyl matte as my material. If you are using 651, you can choose vinyl glossy. 
After it's been cut out, use the hook tool to weed or remove all the parts you don't need. Make sure you leave all the parts that are a part of the design. Remove that and set it aside. Next, load the vinyl you will use for the other parts of your design. Send to cut, but remember to unclick everything you don't want to be cut out. Weed out your vinyl. Next, peel off the backing of your transfer paper and carefully place it on top of your vinyl like this. Use the scraper tool or old credit card or gift card to make sure that the transfer paper is pressed on tightly and to remove any air bubbles. You want to make sure that the transfer paper picks up the vinyl when you peel it off. Next, place that on top of the other vinyl and repeat. Now this next part I should have done before everything else because it took about a day for the paint to dry. To paint the inside of the jar, you just need to pour acrylic paint on the inside. And then you just kind of move the jar around until everything is covered. Place the jar upside down so all the excess paint comes out and set it to dry. Once it is all dry, you are ready to place the vinyl on the jar. Decide where you want it to go and make sure the surface is clean with no bumps or any type of moisture. You can wipe it with a dry paper towel first. Next, peel off the transfer paper, making sure that the vinyl is stuck to it and place the middle part first. And then stick the sides. Use the scraper tool to make sure it really sticks onto the jar. Carefully remove the transfer paper. I added rabbit ears to my jar by drawing them onto white cardstock paper and using scissors to cut them out. I used hot glue to attach them to the inside of the jar. Next, I added some fake flowers and this is how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you kind of get an idea of what you can do with adhesive vinyl and gets you started on making other things. See you next time!